my vehicle did not come with the factory installed tow package so in order to have the availability of electric brakes for my travel trailer I'm going to install the controller and all the wires that we need today. Decide where you want to mount your control box and drill a couple of pilot holes and get your bracket all installed. Now attach your control box with the screws that are supplied in your kit. Now it's time to run you a power cable from your battery to your controller and find a place in your dashboard up on the firewall there will be probably a rubber grommet similar to this that you can pass the wire through the firewall and bring it up here and make the appropriate connections to your battery. You will need a couple of circuit breakers 30 amp and a 40 amp and I just made a small bracket and found a suitable mounting place underneath my dash here so they're under my hood so that I can keep my wires up out of everybody's way. Okay, now I have the little bracket mounted with the circuit breakers on it. I'm ready to start my wiring. You will need to cut you a couple of strips of wire and attach your ends to them. And these will go from your battery to your circuit breakers. Your circuit breakers are marked as battery and auxiliary. So run two wires from the positive side of your battery to your battery side of your circuit breakers and that will give you the power you're going to need to go back to the controller and also to the uh, trailer. So I took the cable that come out of the firewall and the positive side hooks up to the other side of this 30 amp circuit breaker and then of course the other side goes to the negative side of the battery. That'll supply power to the actual brake controller. Now I'm ready to connect the cable that goes all the way to the trailer connection on the rear of the car. I'm coming off of the 40 amp circuit breaker with one wire that goes all the way to the rear of the car and it grounds in the back so you don't have to have two wires on that cable. After carefully routing the cables back underneath the frame making sure I don't hit anything that's going to rub on it. I hooked up everything on this end. This gives me the availability of a round seven plug. This one actually has a flat four also which works good for my boat and utility trailer.